Anyway, welcome, Saturday. It's lovely to see you all. Uh, swing session 29 and uh, a couple of new people and some people I haven't seen for a long time. And as always, I start these sessions to tell you how much I enjoy them and how much I love being involved with you and just exploring the work. Um, I just want to acknowledge how hard it has to be, how hard it is for everybody. I mean, not just with the uh, uh, isolation, although we're making gentle steps out and I hope that you're being free, but also with what's going on with the violence throughout America. And Canada is in indignation, but there's also violence and there's been violence like this in Canada over the years as well. So we all share that and we all share a common concern. And uh, I just wanted to say that uh, it's awful. We have to do something in our own little ways, whatever it is, but, but we can't ignore it no matter what we are. So here we are, we're swinging. And I'm sure as, as, as you know, <laughs> that I'm also using the swinging to teach, folk, to teach acting. What is it? What is it to teach us, to take us to the point where we have opened reservoirs through the singing so we can actually go into transformation. Transformation, beautiful transformation. And to transform on stage, in a film, in writing, in whatever we're doing. We need to be open to all the possibilities in ourselves. And we have the most amazing possibilities. <laughs> But what happens to us as human beings, as artists, has certainly happened to me, is that we develop armor. So today's session is called Armor. What is our armor? Now, sometimes armor is very important because it's going to save us from very, you know, little things. And so it's there, it's, 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 in, it's, it's in our being. Or uh, it's there because of fear. But we live with our armor for such a long time, I know that I have, that I don't even know what the armor is anymore. And so for the artist being willing to examine where the armor is in your being, and this isn't a course in psychology, um, it's of course in acting, but how to actually address that armor and just gently say, well, there are times when we don't need it anymore. Because it's not the armor that is the resistance. The armor sometimes is there, well, it's always there, to protect us, to block something, to make sure we don't go somewhere. And very often it is on the very opposite part of our bodies. I know that when we're swinging, when we're swinging back to the left and our right hip wants to go with us, right? It's saying, no, 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 you do, we don't want you to go there anymore. We want you to you know, st stay where we are. We're used to protecting you. And then by just opening it and opening it and opening it, sometimes, and I know some of you have felt that, that have worked with me for a while, you feel something in your past. You feel something. And it starts to free. So what the armor does is it protects you and we create them, and the knots are created. Those knots, the tightness, where the flow becomes bound. And for those people who know, know who are new, when I talk about flow, I'm simply talking about emotion, the movement of emotion. So we create armor to protect us. And then sometimes we can say, I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. What happens with the armor in our throat? Uh, we have, uh, so, so much of us have armor in our throat. Not wanting our body and our impulse to be revealed in our voice. That is a knot rather than armor. That is a knot. Quite often you find that the armor is in the small part of your back, in your lower back. It's the opposite side of your body. You know, sometimes we protect ourselves with our shoulders because we're protecting, it's that armor is protecting something maybe down in the lower part of our stomach and our groin. Or the armor is, you know, in, 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 in the lower back or a shoulder. But so often if you go to the opposite sides of your body, you see what's, you can find a way of, of, of freeing it or at least acknowledging it. Because the human body, with the ebb and flow, as we talked about last time, and the freedom, the yielding, the contending, the transmitting and receiving, is very equal, that water line that is between us. I know that Yat once told me when I was doing the scenarios for him in his office in, in, in London, which is where I worked with him, he said, just curl up, curl up on the floor. And when you curl up on the floor, you are so beautifully protected. Everything's protected. The back of your head is protecting you. That hardness of your skull, your spine, your shins is protecting all the soft parts of your body. Now go and look at a child, a baby, 
You look at a baby, you very seldom look at a baby, a beautiful baby, and start frowning and getting angry. It fills you with joy. Like an actor, like an artist can fill an audience with joy. Somewhere underneath there is the joy. And what the baby does is all those beautiful, soft, vulnerable parts of that person, of that baby, of that human being are exposed. And we can feel that in great art, that willingness to be seen, that exposed, because we have our hard parts, but we'll protect us if we need it. The unfortunate thing is as human beings, we get used to those hard parts and we think that is our norm. So one of the things that we try to do in the swings is examine where the armor is and allowing it, allowing it to, 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 to just go away for a while, to say, mm, thank you, thank you very much for protecting me. Thank you. Maybe we don't need you anymore. That way we are open to new portals, to new experiences, to a new lens, to transmit it through a new energy and to receiving through a new energy. And as I said, this is all just common sense. It is not psychological, it is not, you know, we have injury and that's a different thing. We're not talking about that. We're just talking about the potential of you, the artist, the human being, and the responsibility we have to be able to see the world in as many new ways as we possibly can. Stand in yourself. Just stand in yourself. Close your eyes. Lower your center. Oh, the rib case can be such an armor. The squeezing of the ribcage together can be such an armor. It is the fear of flow, the fear of emotion. Now you may have to play that on stage. But as your eyes are closed and you're feeling the energy running into the lower part of your body and your center is dropped, feel the sway of your ribcage. And I don't, I, I, I have not called it a rib cage for years because a cage implies restriction. You do not have to be restricted. You do not have to live within that cage. You do not have to live within the pocket of yourself. Just stand below your center. Feel the swing of the figure eight, the breath, the flow. In your eyes. You do not have to target. Feel the swing of the figure eight moving from your future into your past, yielding, 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 and yielding. Now that's different, isn't it? Somewhere there will be contending, but just yield. How fabulous that can be to breathe in your past, to breathe into the future, to breathe into your depth, to breathe into your height, and to breathe beyond the swing of your ribs. Feel that breath. You're breathing into your intuity, your time, you're breathing into your sensing. You're breathing into the freedom of your emotion. You're breathing through the angle of your thought process. You're breathing. Oh my God, you're breathing. You're just one big lung. Receiving and transmitting. Look at that child. And you feel the breath of freedom. And underneath everything we do, even if we're playing Hitler, underneath everything we do is the artist. And the artist who is involved in the breath of freedom. But then something happens. 
Maybe something happens in our past, which is unpleasant. And we don't want to go there. So we create the armor that will not let us go there. And then we think we're there, but we're not. I'm not there anymore. I have the armor. I don't know whether you can see my armor, but my armor is here. I can feel it. Let your right arm swing back into the left. Stay there, yield to that point, but just slowly and gently breathe your right hip back into the width of yourself. Open your arm and feel the freedom of that. Feel how far back you can go, that you do not need that armor and release. Often when people swing, they swing like this. Why bother swinging? Wow. Because swinging is wide. Why? Open. Open front. Fear in the back. Now imagine you have the, imagine you have armor in your back. Feel that armor, feel something not in your back. Did you feel what that does to your future? It doesn't give you a chance to go into your future. Let go, let go. You know, I'm being pretty crazy today, I don't care. Let go, you let go of that back, let go. You don't need that armor there, go forward. And touch it. Is there something that is not back there that is not allowing you to go into the future? As an actor, we go way into the future and we come way into the past and the past relates to the present and the future relates to the present and we are living in the moment. So you talk about it's this work of Strasbourg and the work of Uta Hagen and the Stanislavski and the work of Meisner. Living in the present is only when there's an equality between your past and your future. Swing back. Good, and release, swing forward, and release, and swing. Now in the swing, ask yourself, are you meeting yourself back there? Are you meeting your resistance and not? Are you meeting that cushion that you've developed a lifetime creating in order to not go to yourself? Or maybe you're perfectly free, but swing back there. It's like, whoa, hello, hello, acknowledge it, acknowledge it, it's beautiful. How often do we go the distance? How often do we actually go the distance? We go the distance in the swing, go. Even if you tumble over, it's okay. Sometimes it's a great sign. Go the distance. Hello. You do not need the armor. Let's see if you find that sensation where you don't even know if you're swinging. Swing. The body is swinging you. You are not swinging it. The body is swinging you. You're not swinging it. Imagine being able to be in that energy somewhere underneath everything, underneath your character on stage, underneath what you were writing. Imagine that. Step back from that. Look at yourself swinging. Swinging without you. Who needs you? Who needs Tom? Right? Good. It's already swinging, so enter it. Wee! Wah! 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 Hey! 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 
Release. <gasps> Release way down there. Don't be afraid of what's there. Hey. And come back to you. Fear is so often not being willing to address the resistance, to rely upon the armor. And it is always such a relief, isn't it? I mean, we all know that. When you finally meet something, right? That you've carried for a long time. Eleanor Deuce writes a book which is only about this. It is finally meeting herself at the end of her career. And at the end of her career, she is naked. She is swinging. It's all there. And it's an extraordinary, profound experience for her. But it took her a lifetime. Okay. Okay. Hey, let go. Let go. And if you really do, you will go back so much further and you will experience maybe a little ricochet. Maybe a little staccato, which is a knot, which is freeing. Wow. I'm demonstrating, of course, to a certain extent. Go there. Stay there. Now, release your right hip. Acknowledge what's way back there in your depth, way behind you in your, for those people who know they're pressing, the strength, the past, the sustained, and how does that affect the future? Are you willing to exist in the future, in the past, in the lightness and the strength, in the quick and the sustained at the same time. That's beautiful if you are. It's beautiful, right? So there you go. But if you want to go beyond that, connect with what is, what is holding you back. The armor, the knot, release. The armor, the knot, your hip, open it. And release all the way around and hang to the right, all the way to the right, behind you to the right, directly behind you to the right, swing it left, angle left, angle rocked, and forward, and go back again and fast, hang, hang, hang. Hey, 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 in depth. Hey, 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 go there. Hey, hey, reverse direction. And hey, hey, it doesn't matter if you're with me or not as I'm going in the circle. Hey, it's not a dance. Hey, 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 both up. Now, with that, yield, go to your heels, go below your heels. Don't let the heels protect you. Go below the heels, behind your heels, and feel how much more expansive you, you can go if you let go of a resistance, of an armor, of a concrete block in your being and stand there. And feel that. And that is accessible to you as a character. It is always there. You don't have to fight for it or grab it or create it, build it. It's there. And wow. 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 
Ah. Wow. To the chaos. Wow. Chaos. Wow. Wow. Chaos. And then meet yourself. Wow. Really. Hello, Trump. What? Chaos. Whoa. Whoa. The ladies. Whoa. I don't need. Whoa. I can go and meet my resistance. Whoa. Through my knot. Whoa. What? Whoa. Whoa. Chaos. Freedom. Whoa. To the left. Freedom. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Just have some fun. Whoa. 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 This side. Whoa. 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 Keep your left hip open. Whoa. And whoa. Stay there. Now, when you're in the right, ask yourself, is the left hip acting as armor and not wanting to allow you to go there? Or is the left hip staying open and allowing you to feel the full volume of yourself? Go to the left and just close on the right hip and then yield open and you feel the volume of yourself and the armor will get softer. What does this have to do with acting? Right, cow? It has everything to do with acting. Open. Oh, stay there, left arm back. Your left hand, feel your lung. Feel how much, without a, without a, a contending stretch, but a yielding stretch, how much bigger you can be. Check that your hip, right hip is free, and we're gonna swing again. And I want you to be aware, this, is, this can be your armor, all right? And that is, could be your knot or that, right? Keep this open. Wow. 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 And it is an inner stretch. Wow. Of one of the wow spheres. Wow. Wow. Stratosphere. Wow. 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 Subterranean. One. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. Wing. Oh, both hands. Wow. Keep that right hip open. Wing. Wow. 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 Other side. Wow. Wow. Stay with the left hip. Keep it open. Whoa. Ask yourself, how do I feel differently? I feel very differently. Whoa. On this side. Your character may feel very differently on this side. Wow. Get to know the sensation of what movement feels like because then inside we can play with the movement whoa, and develop whoa, the openness of all the reservoirs. Whoa. And, and to the stratosphere. Wow. And whoa, the chaos. Whoa. Not of the stratosphere, but of yourself. Whoa. 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 Well, stay there. That's where it's wonderful to live as an actor. Wonderful. It's thrilling. If you want to be an actor or you want to be a writer, surely it's just a car chase or a roller coaster of the psyche of you. And you come into the character again. Four cats. Whoa. 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 Keep your left hip open. Whee. Whoa. Whoa. Of course, it's more than a car chase, whoa, or a roller coaster, whoa, but it's as thrilling. Listening is as thrilling. Walking, you take a chance when you walk, is thrilling. Or it's not thrilling, and fun in the thrilling. You're losing something as an actor, and your audience is losing something even more importantly. Breathe. Up and your heels gently coming down on the yielding. Hey, hey. Feel the breath coming to the small of the back. Hey, hey. 
up to the shoulder blades, feeling it freeing, and up the head, and stay there. And release, hands above you. Feel the breath into your toes, and coming down, back up to the shins, lower stomach, big belly, the chest, and to the throat. Stay there for a moment. We can acknowledge that so often the world, the way the world is now, that our heart wants to close. But we need to contact the opposite part of our body. And you feel your heart opening, go lower. Or our throat closes and just stand in there. Ah, it's related to that figure eight, as those people who are studying the confluence of externalized drives know. Wow, just swing like that. Wow, and concentrate on the throat here. Right there. And the heart. And open. Chaos it takes you back to yourself. Hello, Sid. Hello. That is you. Who is that? Back there, if that is part of you, that is part of you. Absolutely. And that can come into character. You will need that. And just stay there and stand up. How do you feel? Is it knotted? Is it free? How do you feel? Are you seeing through a different lens? Everything is steeped in truth, in who you are, but our truth is so much bigger than what we are usually willing to expose as actors. And that's not pointing a finger. You may be brilliant at that, but certainly my experience as an actor, as a director, oh gosh, my truths at times have been so small. Open. Go to the introverted part of yourself and the extroverted. The introverted and the extroverted. Introverted and the extroverted. The relationship between your introverted self and your extroverted self is so important. And the power of your introversion is so important. It's so easy to put that introversion down, but oh, it's a magnificent energy. And it goes introverted to extroverted. It's very hard to go from extroverted to introverted. And sometimes we have such armor that will not allow us to trust the introverted part of ourselves. But if you look at the great actors, not the showy off actors, not the actors who simply use those little ticks that work for them, and there's nothing wrong with that, that's perfectly fine, but the actors who, who you cannot help but feel their humanity, and you cannot help but feel they meet in a chemical reaction with the world, with their partners, have a trust, or at least a negotiation with their introverted self, without judgment, without putting it down, without feeling they have to fit in. You can fit in, sure, as an actor, perfect. But quite often, we go through a process of not open. And four, 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 four. Swing. Let go. Two. Three. 
four, drop right, and un, toast, threat, water, swing, yeah, la, la, and left and open, two, right, four, and swing, two, three, four, and bump, up, two, right, four, and swing, Two, three, four, both again. One, two, three, four, and swing. Let go. Two, three, four, open parachute. One, two, parachute in. Hello, one, two, right in. Let it go down, it'll come right back to you. Two, whoa, ho, one. Two, oh, I sure missed it. One, two, step right, and one, two again. Whoa, and left, two, because you're there. Does it feel great? One, to be there already? Whoa, right angle. One, two, forward. Whoa, one, two. Really go there. Hello there. One, two. Don't let any armor not let you go there. Two. Whoa, even feel the knot there. It's okay, out to the right. Wow, one, two. Wow, to the left, two. That's different. That's a different part of the group. Two, that you want to access. Right angle back, two. Oh, one, two. Really go down. Whoa, it's soft there. Two left. Wow, one, two. Wow, left, right, right back. Two, I don't care what's back, something's going back. One, two, and the other side, two. Oh, one, two, oh, right leg, one, 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 left one, 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 it's actually really different. Whoa, whoa, feel the movement, whoa, way down there, whoa, other side, whoa, 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 hey, 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 move back as you're yielding forward, and, hey, doesn't it feel good, like an acrobat? Hey, further back. That is your volume. Come on, that's your volume. And back. Move forward. Twice as far. Hey, but you're going back as you're going forward. As you venture out, out of the lockdown, wearing a mask, keeping the distance, watch the people who might be coming out of their lockdown wanting to go into the future, but something is still holding them to the past. Or watch the people who are free in their past, dying for the future. Or watch the people who are walking forwards as if they're walking backwards. The rhythm, the rhythm of what is, what is prominent. So the armor of the back that makes it hard for us to go into the future the armor of the future, who must just stay in the past. Uncle Vanya. And, hey, 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 hey. 
other side. Hey, hey, release, hey, release, hey, and right, hey, 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 swing, hey, other side, hold, hey, 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 feel like a dancer, hey, other side, whoa, 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 left, whoa, 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 I go right back, whoa, 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 left, whoa, angle, whoa, keep the right hip open, whoa, and back, whoa, 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 the side, whoa, 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 stop, that's a swing, do it again, reverse action, release, and whoa, 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 left, whoa, 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 and right, whoa, whoa, relieve, yield, left, yield, let go, yield, let go, right, let go, let go, let go, and left, Back, let go, let go. Whoa, whoa, other side. Whoa, 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 right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Close your eyes. Feel your breath. Ah. Out of breath, great. If you're out of breath, the breath sometimes will go where it has to go. Where is it going now? where it wasn't going at the beginning of the swing session. Ask yourself that. Where is it going? And it could, could it possibly be freeing some of your armor? Is that possible? Is it possible that it's saying, hmm, maybe I don't need you, at least for a while. So open your eyes, there you are. You are an artist. There you are. Within a beautiful instrument, you are the violin. And every note, every breath, it's about vibrations, isn't it? It's an acting about vibrating. Vibrating with, vibrating against. Vibrating from our toes, Vibrating from our past, vibrating from our hopes, from our thought center, from our sensual life, from our intuitive life, from our spiritual life, from our sexual life, from our emotional life. And in all this things, it is the emotional life that will really free you, which is why these things exist and why I've spent a lifetime really exploring them. Because each of the swings, hopefully, will take you in touch with a different part of yourself. And hopefully, each of the swings will take you and start freeing whatever knots you have, whatever knots I have. <sighs> so that we become bigger, our volume is bigger, we are accessible to ourselves. We are not hiding from ourselves. But it's there. And the subconscious and the unknown informs us. And this has everything to do with being an artist. If that's the kind of artist you want to be. Wow. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Um, just enjoy the air. Swing. And one. Walking down the. Doesn't make you feel like Charlie Chaplin walking down the railroad tracks. Here comes the train and getting on the way. Funny thing about comics, particularly silent film comics, they walk forward as if they're walking sideways. And that's what's beautiful. You can walk forward as if you're walking sideways. When was the last time you fell in love? 
I'll bet you walked forward as if you were walking sideways. Go back to the image of the child. We have all sides that protect us, crunched up like a turtle or a you know, one of those wonderful amadillos. amadillos. It's the new prom dog, <laughs> right? And that's important, but what happens when we open and we are born? Any baby, any child, any kitten, right? The freedom. And it's okay because we know we have that protection. Protection is different than freedom. Close your eyes. Feel the swing in your body. Finish off with the swing, pick your aim. Wow. And everyone, make sure, because people are new, that just when you swing into that cross, it's not above your ribcage. All the work is about this. The drives, who you are, the motivation, the wonder, the inspiration, the fear, whatever it is, and the activity that you are playing, the doing to the world or to your partner or to an idea. And then you're backing yourself. And so many people will just do this, and it can be beautiful, but it never feels quite true. And other people will just stay down here, and it's very true, but it's boring because it can be just indulgent. We need the, we need the whole part of this swing. Wow. 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 Feel how huge you are. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Now stand, you're still swinging. It's just me. Feel and acknowledge. Well, quite frankly, how magnificent you are. Because you are. This isn't like a new age birthday talk. You just simply are. And maybe just take a moment. And as an artist, the humanity, the artist, same thing they meet. Acknowledge where you usually feel the knot and the armor that protects that knot in your swing. Hmm. Now take a big step. From where you acknowledge it in your swing, where do you acknowledge it in your life? Because whatever is beyond that can be beautiful and accessible and whole. Thank you, everybody.